Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are exploring the burial isle. Oh, we get a Pugra. Haven't seen one of those in a while. This should be pretty manageable for us now. Let's take care of this guy instead. And then take care of the injured one. And we have a Men Pugra. Is that like a an upgraded one? A Super Pugra? Could use some rest. I could use some less whining from you. A blocked passage. You venture through a doorway into an underground tunnel. Oh, come on. No burping. A staircase calls upwards, leading to a dim passage. On the upper level, light filters through the collapsed ceiling. A wall of piled stones and rubble blocks the way. I mean, we have a crowbar. I don't think I can get 17 perception even if I rearrange my uh, gear. You wedge your pry bar against a loose stone and put all your weight into it. Your efforts dislodge the boulder and it rolls free with a heavy groan. Other slabs and chunks of debris begin to break away. A massive pile creaks and rumbles, threatening to lose a thousand pounds of stone around you. As the debris tumbles down, you lunge through the narrowing gap. However, Durant isn't fast enough and disappears behind the falling rocks. Durant emerges from a cloud of dust, hunched over and cradling tender ribs. Light breaks into the tunnel up ahead, growing brighter as you continue. Soon the passage ends, opening up high on the cliffside of the Beryl Isle. Okay, so we got put up here instead. Grab that before we attack. A Glanfafen Adraswen. That's a pretty good uh, amulet. I'll take that. I can't use that. So maybe we'll rest up just to. Uh, so I can get that. Come on. Let me get that. Thank you. And is that an upgrade for anyone? Dexterity Resolve and Perception. Do you have Dexterity and Resolve? And Perception? Uh, let's see, you have Perception and Resolve, but you don't have uh, Dexterity. How about you? Deflection, Constitution, she might be able to use it, let's see. Instead of the Retaliation, I should use that on you, shouldn't I? You're the one who's taking a lot more damage. So let's try to put that on you. We'll put this on you. How's that? Hero's Mantle is suppressed by... Something. How about you? That looks alright. Let's continue on. All right, then. And attack... Then. Spectres! <laughs> That is a lot of specters. Let's try to uh, even the odds a bit by using one of these to lower their defenses. That didn't work. Need to try something else. And then you, Hulk out. And you, do one of these on to there. Spectre's near death. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Barely injured, barely injured. And the Tuma goes down. Everyone is paralyzed. Maybe I should put you on range. I do have you on a wand for you. If you want to try that. Also, didn't I get a hunting bow recently? I think I did that off camera, but I do have it right there. Is that an upgrade for you? 12 to 18. No, it's not an upgrade. Also, I didn't use the Adra Dragon Scale, so maybe we should do that. Who's gonna get that? Who's our best damage dealer? I think it's Sagana, right? Most crit 900. Most total damage done, Alana. 
So maybe Alana's gonna get get it. We'll upgrade the reign of uh, Gota Field. Can I upgrade the quality? It's already superb. How about your hand and key armor? Don't I have anything better for her? Maybe something over here? No, that's only light armor. Maybe this one? Both are exceptional. I do like the loyalty and the might. So maybe we'll just upgrade this one if we can. To superb. That takes Adra Dragon Scale, right? Yes, it does. Done. And we don't have anything else. That should be DR14 instead. Oh, there. There's the burp. That one's for you. And is that one exceptional? Should I upgrade that? Sure, why not? Superb! And that is 12 to 12. And it's now DR16. Done. Hmm? Now, what can we find here? What? More souls? Should I be absorbing these? Just because I can? A deer cap? Sure. Where can I find the stale gear? Oh, they're being crucified or burned at the stake. A will o' wisp. And I just absorbed some more souls right there. You going? There we go. And this seems like a good idea to put out one of these. Maybe you can do it as well. Yes, you can. Double insects. So many insects. And we'll also do a fire bug on you. And you'll also do a fire bug on him. See this bounce? Nice! That was super nice. That's a good thing to have. Uh, that means we're probably gonna keep Hiravis around. That was good damage. Very good damage. And fast, too. I like that. Keeping quiet. Stale gear? Where you at? I'll take that. Don't mind me while I loot your dead. Might plus three. That is pretty damn good. You have plus one might from something, right? From the uh, hand key? Should I? Although that was a necklace. Anyone else got a crappy necklace? Resolve corrode. I'm pretty sure you have something that gives might. Plus one might. Plus two might. Plus one. Aura of stealth. I probably don't need that. Maybe I'll give it to you then. Plus three might. That'll overwrite the plus one. Which is okay with right, me. Then. I think everyone has something of might. So I'm not too bothered. Go grab that as well. Who knows? Might be useful. And I think we want to go up here for the main quest, but I still want to see that st uh, Skelgear, or whatever it's called. Grotto Echoes. Oh, here we go. A ravenous Stelgear and Scaf... Sca Scafton? This might come to blow, so we'll quick save just in case. And then we'll talk to you. Standing proud and still, the Aumawa before you is sm br smiling broadly, showing several crooked and missing teeth. Sporting the physique of a man in his prime, his worn and weathered face appears to old for the rest of him. He's dressed in an assortment of stitched hides and furs, assembled from a motley of animals. Dangling from his belt are a series of grisly scalps. Braided lengths of human, a deer and dwarven, and orland hair 
woven around finger bones. He sizes you up with a grin, but his gaze quickly looks uh, with Heravius, locked with Heravius, and he tilts his head as he examines the Orlan head to toe. What do they call you, little one? You smell familiar, but your name is unknown to me. I am Heravius, child of the Fisher Crane, adept of the Hawk and Ivy, wanderer of Aretha. Too formal? P pretty formal. The man ahead of you clears his throat. <clears throat> a feline rumble comes from his chest, and for a moment, his hair stands perfectly on end. Heravius. Fitting. He holds out his right hand and flexes his fingers. Long black talons sprout from under filth encrusted fingernails. He rolls his head back and inhales deeply, see, sighing with a smile at some perceived scent. Needed to uh, bring friends with you? Let's remain silent. You allow your eyes to relax until your mind is attuned to the invisible hum of souls. The Amala projects a dizzying display of red, gold and orange. Autumn halos surround his massive forms. Where his feet touch the ground, you see a network of roots and veins that trail from his feet and sink deep into the earth. Turning to Heravias, you see glowing roots emerge from his feet, appearing as mirror images to the tendrils radiating from Skafton. These roots of soul energy meet between the two men, and then sneak, snake deep into the earth in one twisted root. You sense that these men have distinct souls, but only one shared path, past. The two men are splayed fork in an otherwise unbroken line. The two of you share the same past, though you carry distinct souls. A shared past? An inelegant analogy. Who I was in my last life was diminished in my cycle of rebirth, squandered so that this runt could have life. Runt? And it's not your soul, it's, uh, well, it's not exactly... Were you visited by the Autumn Stalegare? Visited? Tested! Forged! That would be the way to view it. I previously thought it was a mark of distinction, but apparently even a half... height half-man can manage the task. Takes away some of the glory, does it not? Half-man? That's some really tough talk coming from a man about to choke in his own blood. Dude, what do you want from him? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm drinking a lot of coke right now. What do you want with Heravias? Same as you want with me, no doubt. Completion! Galloway gifted us both with the stripes of a true predator. It is our purpose to erase the weak, ensuring only the strong pro proliferate. We must honor our god. My god, by doing it as the Hound demands. Let us determine who bears the right to be Galloway's Harbringer. Um, is this what you want, Heravias? I asked to be a hunter. A regular hunter that gets invited to chase down dinner and eats its neck. I didn't ask for this. I mean, Heravias worships both Galloway and Vale. And throughout this quest, or hunt for this guy, we've... Uh, I pushed him more towards Vale because I do like that god more. That's the the goddess of or god of uh, wisdom and knowledge and secrets and all that. So let's continue with that. Vale has led you to this moment for you to understand, not to winch. A fair criticism. Well, I'm glad I ca we came. Galloway gave me a gift. My tribe doesn't ag agree with it. What's done is done. And if erasing this soul cousin of mine is what I must do to be greater, then I guess that's not any kind of greatness I'm seeking. And you think you can just walk away from me? Hmm... You would face both an Autumn Stalegare and those crazy enough to befriend it? I would face the Autumn Stalegare alone, as Galloway intended it, but if his heart is not in the battle, Neither is there glory for the victor. Scamper away if you need to run home and find your genitals. I will be waiting. My gonads? Oh well, last I left them. Let him talk. They were in your mother. Is she still accepting clients at this hour? 
I'm sure I could spread her up and uh, oh, he leaps into action. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, let's go for the stale girl first. And we are gonna do the same thing almost. This didn't have friendly fire, so let's use those instead. Double ravenous thingy. That should do a lot of damage. One stealth gear down. Two down. Three down. Four down. And you are down. But did that push you to, uh... Uh... Galloway now? Hibavia's pants and wheezes. His one good eye locked on Skafton's corpse. Blood and sweat drip down his fur, and he rocks back and forth on the balls of his feet, as though expecting the body to stand back up. How do you feel? Amused, I suppose. Wow showed me that Galloway was answering my prayers. He made me the great hunter that I wished to be. The mauling wasn't a punishment, just a very, very hard test. And I think Wow showed me just now what I will become if I let this facet of my life be all-consuming. Exceminous Corpse! As your eyes relax and your vision adjusts to the hum of the invisible, you see a swirling pile of red, orange and yellow leaves. The cyclone of foliage flies apart, and the leaves drift off into parts unknown. As Gafton's essence fades from you, you see a handful of autumn leaves circle about Heralius as his soul glows a bolder shade of orange. Are we done here? Yes, I've had enough of Galloway's tests and trials. Even if I could best every other man that wears the Autumn Stelgar mantle, what's the point? My heart isn't in the hunt like it used to be. Which is almost a shame, since I'm a pretty amazing and modest hunter. But to answer your question, yes, I'm done here. Before the vultures get to him, figured I should take a reminder. Wait, what did you just take? What? Did you just grab his... What? Did you just grab his damn lower jaw? Or something? Or a tooth? Ooh, a poleaxe. That could be pretty good. And a ring of deflection. That's it. I think uh, you have points in that from your adventurer. Polex? Yeah. Maybe we should use that in our offhand. That's got pretty good range, I think. Done. Hey. Alright. Let's quickly explore this little bit here for more enemies and kill them. And then we'll head up to uh, the summit. Which is probably where we want to get into uh, the um, Sun and Shadow. And progress to the main quest to follow Theos. Leave it to me! Kill him quickly, come on! You're not getting through me. Oh, there were more of them. Phraethus! Oh, more souls! I should probably absorb those, just in case. Might make me, make me stronger. Who knows? It's no use. That should be the last of them. Grab all the spirit essences. Hello! Last blade of the White Forge. It's only exceptional, though. I think I have a superb one. I think these might be the last enemies in this map. Anything hidden over here? Does the flame reveal? Lovely. And you guys probably gonna want to get looted as well. Oh, there's souls over here to absorb. Absorb those. And these. Any more souls? Let's follow the path up. See if there are any more souls around. Maybe we'll like unlock a uh, secret or something by absorbing them all. So might as well try it. If I can see anyone else. I don't... 
those we already got those so onwards to the summit Another turn, Inquisitor. I ask again, Yovara Ixensios, do you confess to these heresies of which you stand accused? Do you confess to apostasy? I confess to renouncing a mistake. Do you confess to conspiracy against the one true faith? I confess to opening minds. Do you confess to false prophecy? I confess to following a false prophet. Indeed. And where might we find this heretic? It's you! He wears the robes of a Grand Inquisitor. You have no followers here, heretic. Your lies hold no sway in the court of the penitents. Only my truth, then. Another turn. <laughs> no! Wait! Wait! I'm ready. I'm ready. You are ready to give a confession? I am ready to hear one from you. Thales shakes his head and points at the Inquisitor, and the scraping grind of rusted gears echoes in your mind as the apparitions fade away. So she was being tortured. No time to lose nerve now, Watcher. What's one more trial for a soul on the brink of doom? Oh, here we go, that's Woodica. That's ugly son of a bitch. Alright, let's head down into the uh, sun and shadow. A great pit lies in the shadow of the statue of Woodica. No light from the s surface reaches the bottom, but even so, you catch flickers of a ghostly glow in the depths. A wind from the pits buffets you. It isn't cold, but it raises goose flesh along your arms. The wind carries a whisper, low and sibilant. As you look into the pit, souls gather around you. They encase you in a cl cloud of essence that swirls around your body while you consider your next move. Jump in it! You jump, trusting in the promises of the gods and the power of the souls to bear you safely down. The sudden drops takes your breath away, but the souls catch you, encasing you in a shining thrumming aura. But while they slow your descent, you can still feel that you are falling faster than you should. The essence flowing around you is strong but chaotic. You find yourself drifting towards the wall. The wall, Olana! Ooh, I'm gonna go with the resolve one. Take control of the souls to guide yourself to safety. Concentrating, you focus on the essence around you and knit together, knit it together in your mind. What was a jumble of souls becomes a single entity, coordinated and purposeful. It steers you to safety at the center of the pit. You manage to spread your arms and legs into an X, steadying your position and the rate of your descent. You reach the court of the penitent, the penitents, a millennia-old stone safely under your feet. <laughs> 